Today I'm going to show you a few kitchen hacks to make a ridiculously tasty spicy ramen in under 30 minutes. So stick around. Although tantan men is based on Chinese dandan mian, the Japanese version has evolved into a style of spicy ramen. I showed you how to make a soupless tantan men earlier this year, but with the weather cooling off, I want to show you how to make this comforting noodle soup version at home. In my version, I fortify some store-bought chicken stock with caramelized aromatics and ground pork, and then the broth gets emulsified with the sesame tare to make an unctuous soup that's ridiculously flavorful. Then I finish it off with sweet and savory niku miso, which makes for a great contrast to the spicy soup. Sounds perfect, right? Let's get started with a look at our ingredients. For the topping, I'm using 50 grams of ground pork, 2 teaspoons of tianmian sauce, 1 teaspoon of soy sauce, and 1 teaspoon of vegetable oil. For the tare, I'm using 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, 1 and a half tablespoons of tahini, 1 teaspoon of chili oil, and 1 teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. For the broth, I'm using 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil, 25 grams of ground pork, 10 grams of scallion stems, 5 grams of ginger, 1 large clove of garlic, a quarter teaspoon of ground Sichuan pepper, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 2 teaspoons of doubanjang, and 1 and a half cups of low-sodium chicken stock. To serve this, I've got 130 grams of fresh ramen noodles, and some scallions and mustard greens for garnish. Okay, let's start by grinding the sesame seeds for our tare. I'm using a stone mortar and pestle, but you can do this with a Japanese suribachi and wooden pestle, a spice grinder, food processor, or even a blender. Once your sesame has been ground, go ahead and add it to your serving bowl. Then I'm gonna add the tahini, chili oil, and sesame oil. Next, let's go ahead and blanch the mustard greens in some boiling water. This particular one is called komatsuna, but if you can't find it, baby bok choy or spinach will work great. Once the leaves are vibrant green and wilted, you want to remove and chill them in cold water, but don't drain the water in the pot because we need it to boil the noodles. Then you want to trim the root end off and cut the greens into bite-sized lengths. For our final garnish, I'm going to trim the scallion stems off and chop up just the green leaves. Okay, for the broth, we need to grate our garlic. You can also finely mince it with a knife if you don't have a grater, but doing it this way ensures the flavor gets distributed more evenly into the soup. Then I'm gonna grate the ginger into the same bowl. For the scallion stem, I'm gonna cut a slit down the center and remove the core. Then I'm gonna flip the sheets of scallion over and splay them out flat. Now I'm gonna slice the sheets into thin threads. Now I'm gonna turn the threads 90 degrees and mince them up. By the way, this variety of scallion is called Tokyo Negi and it's much thicker than a normal scallion. So if you're using smaller ones, you'll need to use several stems to have enough. Finally, I'm gonna marinate the bigger portion of ground pork with the soy sauce and the tianmian sauce. Stir this together lightly so it's still crumbly, but be careful not to mash it into a paste. It helps if your pork is cold, so leave it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Okay, let's fry this up. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of oil to a pan over medium-high heat, and then I'm gonna add the marinated pork. Stir-fry this while crumbling it up with the side of a spatula. Be sure to keep the pork moving around the pan and break it up into small crumbles until the meat is fully cooked and there's no liquid left in the pan. Okay, this is looking good, so let's get this into a bowl. Before I make the broth, 
I want to thank my awesome supporters who helped to make this video possible. There are lots of ways you can support this channel, so if you're learning something new from my recipes, hit the link in the description down below to see what you can do. Then you want to put the pan back on the stove and add a tablespoon of oil, along with the garlic, ginger, and scallion stems, and the remaining ground pork. Stir fry this while breaking up the pork into small crumbs. This mixture of aromatics and pork smells ridiculously good, and it's how I fortify ordinary chicken stock and turn it into ramen broth. Once the pork is cooked through, add the Sichuan pepper, soy sauce, and doubanjang. Now we want to stir fry this until all the liquid is evaporated and the ingredients start to caramelize. This takes about four to five minutes, but it's time well spent because the Maillard browning we achieve here adds loads of flavor and umami to the broth. Once it's looking like this, add the chicken stock and bring the soup to a rolling boil for about a minute to let the flavors meld. This is a good time to start boiling your noodles. I'm using fresh curly ramen noodles that take about three minutes to cook, but check your package for how long to cook your noodles. Okay, the ingredients in our spicy ramen broth have gotten a chance to get acquainted, so let's pour it into our serving bowl with the tare. Now I'm gonna whisk this together to emulsify the tahini and various oils with the soup to make a beautifully creamy ramen soup. All right, our noodles are done, so let's drain them and get them into our soup. Grabbing the last bit of noodles and folding them on top makes a flat platform for the toppings. Now I'm gonna top this with our boiled mustard greens as well as our nikumiso topping. Finally, I'm gonna garnish this with our chopped scallions and our tantan men is done. All right, who's ready for some tantan men? This smells so good. It's so nutty and spicy. Itadakimasu! Oh. It's nutty, creamy, and spicy, and it's got loads of umami. And that pork on top adds a little bit of sweetness that gives a really nice contrast. I mean, I could totally see this being served at a ramen shop somewhere around Tokyo. It's hard to believe it only took 30 minutes to make. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving this a big thumbs up. My goal this year is to get to 100,000 subscribers, and you can help make that happen by sharing this with your friends and family that might enjoy my recipes too. All right, I'm gonna go have the rest of this tantan men, but check out this playlist for more delicious noodle recipes, and I'll catch you in the next one.